Hello, my name is Nathan and I'm here to give you some encouragement in today's devotional. I want to talk to you especially today to new believers and being quite new to the faith myself around six or seven years. I would like to share three things that really helped me in my walk in our Saviour Yeshua. When I finally gave my life to Yeshua some years ago, I never expected or anticipated the journey Yahweh would put me on. I still have ups and downs, but because my faith is fully planted in him, I can let him guide my path. I also have a helper who is Yeshua when things get difficult. So I just want to take you through some of the things I think will really help you in your walk. So let's go straight into the first one, which is <clears throat> prayer. I think there is misconception in Christianity that in order to be a good Christian, you need to attend church as often as you can and do the odd good deed. But I quickly learned to understand that Christianity is all about a personal relationship with our Lord and Saviour, Yeshua the Messiah, or Jesus Christ. And one of the most important ways we can have a relationship with him is through prayer. Listen to what John says in 1 John 5. And we are confident that he hears us whenever we ask for anything that pleases him. And since we know he hears us when we make our requests, we also know that he will give us what we ask for. And how do we come to our Heavenly Father and ask for things? And how do we make our requests to him? That's it, through prayer. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 16 says this, Rejoice always and pray without ceasing giving thanks in all the circumstances. For this this is the will of Yeshua, the Messiah for you. And my favourite is from the Psalms. Psalm 120 verse 1. I took my troubles to Yahweh. I cried out to him and he answered my prayer. And brothers and sisters, prayer is as simple as that. It's only through regular prayer that we can have a relationship with Yahweh and with Yeshua. So when was the last time you prayed and took your trouble to Yahweh? When was the last time you thanked him for the things that you have? In my opinion, we should be praying every single day, sometimes more than once a day. Why? Because the more we pray and the more often we come before the Father, the stronger our relationship will be with him and that strengthens your faith and faith starts on your knees in prayer. Okay, so the second thing I'd like to mention is reading the Bible. The Bible, the Old and the New Testament, all 66 books are the word of Yahweh. So if we are going to walk with him on a daily basis, we must read his word and learn what he has to say through his prophets, disciples, and ordinary people like you and me. The Bible also gives us a place of reference. If I'm, sure, if I'm unsure about something, no matter what's going on in my life or the world, I know I can turn to the Bible and see what Yahweh's word has to say about the situation. The Bible also gives us the teachings of our Messiah, Yeshua. Some of the things he said, I've never heard any other person say in present time or throughout history. This is what is said in John 14, verse 6. Yeshua told him, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. If you had really known me, you would know who my Father is. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Wow, he's saying he is truth, he is life, and if you've seen him, you have seen Yahweh. I find this an amazing statement. Yeshua also said in Matthew chapter 5, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Has someone done you wrong? Don't go taking revenge on them. Pray for them. And Yeshua also said this in Luke chapter 6. Forgive 
and you will be forgiven. This was a big one for me because I never used to think about forgiving a person that had done me wrong. But reading these words throughout the Bible, I came to understand that we must forgive as Yeshua will forgive us through his spilt blood and sacrifice on the cross. So, read the word as often as you can. Set targets for, say, a chapter a day to start off. And if you find reading the King James Version of the Bible difficult, there are other translations you may find that are simpler, like the New King James or the New Living Translation. Now, the last thing on my list is to learn to trust in Yahweh and trust in his plan. For me, this was one of the most difficult things I had to learn so far in my walk, mainly because when I would need help with anything, I would always rely on family or friends in order to help, often sometimes jumping into decisions without even thinking about it. Proverbs chapter 3 says, Trust in Yahweh with all of your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all that you do and he will show which path to take. If we trust Yahweh in all that we do and let him guide us to the right path, how can we ever stumble? How can we ever take a wrong turn? Learning to trust Yahweh to lead your life is not easy, but I think it's one of the most important things we can learn because in trusting him again shows our faith and we cannot please Yahweh without faith. Hebrews 11 says this, and it is impossible to please Yahweh without faith. Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that Yahweh exists and that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. So I hope our time together has encouraged you if you have yet to accept Yeshua in your life, it's as simple as A, B, C. A. Accept you're a sinner in need of a saviour. B. Believe in your heart that Yeshua is who he said he, he is. He was born of a virgin, crucified for our sins and rose from the dead on the third, third day. And C. Confess with your mouth that Yeshua is the Son of Yahweh, our Messiah. And if you do these three things, then you will be saved. Hallelujah. May Yahweh bless you today.